We're in Japan. How cool is that? We have been here for over a week now yeah. and we've absolutely loved it. Now, we follow a keto lifestyle, so when we're on holidays, we try as much as we can to keep as low carb as possible. It's probably more low carb. Yeah. yeah. So we don't sweat the small stuff, you know, if marinades, stuff like that. We just try and do the best that we can. And we thought it might be helpful to show you some of the cool keto friendly foods that we found during our time in Japan. Now I will say it's probably been harder than we thought it was going to be um, because, I mean, we knew going in there was going to be a lot of rice and noodles, but we have found it more challenging. So hopefully this video can show you some of the things you will be able to find um, low carb in Japan. Yeah, definitely. One thing I will say, there was way more bread here than what I thought. They're really big on bakeries and stuff. Um, and I guess we haven't really been with the language barrier and also from a cultural perspective, we haven't wanted to um, ask, for ask for no or... rice or no noodles because we didn't want to seem rude and we also found it difficult to communicate that. So what we tended to do was just choose the best option and then, you know, eat around the rice or the noodles, which I think is probably a good way to go because they are very kind of proud and um accommodating so I, we didn't want to upset people by saying asking for no rice or whatever yeah, it's exactly, just easier that, and also that's such a you know normal thing here to yes. eat that it would seem really strange so anyway here's some things that we have found that were really yummy we have actually found that convenience stores are going to be your friend in terms of finding awesome keto options. We have found lots of keto friendly stuff at the convenience store. One of our favourites has been boiled eggs. You can find them everywhere. We've pre peeled these, peeled these, but peel them, good to go. Um, other things we've found, cheese, lots of cheese, and I didn't ex really expect to see so much kind of European cheeses. Um, salami, chicken breast that's cooked and ready to go, um, nuts, Erica found a butter coffee in the Family Mart, so there's a few different convenience stores we've been into, Family Mart, 7-Eleven and a Law the Lawson's, um, they're everywhere, they're on literally every corner. Um, we've also been into the department store, down the bottom of the department stores they have like a food area, kind of a bit like the David Jones food area, um, and it's much more kind of fresh meat and things like that. Um, so definitely use the convenience stores, they are going to be your friend because there's lots of keto options there. We've been using um, what we get at the convenience store for breakfast pretty much every day. So we just had our first experience with sukiyaki here in Tokyo and it was an awesome keto friendly option. So there was just kind of like a flavoured broth and in that they cooked cabbage, mushrooms, a little bit of tofu, some onion and then like wagyu beef on the top. There were some noodles in there, we just avoided them. But it was so yummy and such a good keto friendly option. Yakitori is another great keto option. Now that is chicken sticks. Um, last night when we were wandering around in Shinjuku, we also saw that there was a yakitori alley. Unfortunately, we had already eaten, but um, if you're looking for yakitori, I reckon that was the place to go because there was heaps of yakitori um, stations there. That's what it looks like. We just got this from the supermarket, like a department store, but you can get them from restaurants, um, convenience stores even have them. So lots of options to get this in Tokyo. If you're in Tokyo, you should definitely come to Tsukiji Outer Market. There are loads of street food options and we found so many keto friendly things, including Oysters, yeah, tuna. grilled scallops, grilled octopus, unsweetened was, matcha, yeah, lots of options, um, and even some things that we didn't try but we saw like grilled chicken, like yakitori, and then like wagyu beef grilled. I mean, they're honestly, we are so full. <laughs> definitely come and check this out. If Great you're keto options in there, guys. Definitely.
So during our time in Tokyo we visited Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea and I will say the low carb options pretty slim and I don't think you're supposed to bring your own food in. So one recommendation I would have is you can easily get on the monorail and go over to the shopping center which is back at kind of the main train station and there is heaps of food options there including a supermarket that has loads of things. Um, but some things that we did find here, one of them is this spicy smoked chicken leg. So that looks delicious. At Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland, we found turkey leg. It's very juicy. I'm going to taste it. Mm. Yum. Lots of people walking around with these. And at Tokyo Disney Sea, this is actually part of their kind of special Christmas food. So it's probably only available like November, December. But it's, a, it's called a sausage on a bone. And it's like a cheese Kransky almost, I think. I'll give it a try. Mm. Mm, Delicious. One of the things I've really been enjoying is the unsweetened iced tea at all of the kind of convenience stores, supermarkets. This one's a jasmine tea but we've tried a Rui Boss, um, we've tried like a green one as well, all along, tried a few different ones and also they have some good sparkling. This one's an orange one, um, there's been lemon, plain, so we've been enjoying the drinks here even though we've been avoiding Pepsi Max and everything, good options. So some of the um, meals we didn't get a chance to try, um, we didn't get to, a chance to try a steak. Now, I would have liked to have tried a Kobe or a Wagyu's mm -hmm. steak, but it's really, keep in mind, that is really expensive here. Yeah, so both Korean barbecue and Japanese barbecue would be really good options. I think particularly Japanese barbecue because it doesn't have quite as much marinades Sauce. and stuff as Korean. And they do include like vegetables and stuff. But yeah, the beef is super high quality at most of the places we've seen. And you do pay for that. And it, like it's expensive here anyway. So yes. just keep that in mind and make sure you check the price. But yeah, it would have been really nice to have like one fancy smancy. <laughs> <laughs> steak. steak. Um, another option that we didn't get around to trying was Moss Burger, which is like a chain of burger restaurants that have a low carb, uh, like lettuce a lettuce wrap. wrapped bun on their menu. So if you get a chance to check that out, that could be a good option. Yeah, that's probably a good option if you kind of been out all day and you just want something quick and easy, that would be a good option. Yeah. So I guess just to recap some of the things that we have found super easy to access. Boiled eggs. eggs <laughs> at the convenience store. Um, yakitori or some sort of grilled chicken on a stick. You can get them supermarkets, convenience store, restaurants. Um, sashimi. Sashimi, yeah. So that's super easily accessible. Again, it varies in price. So just be aware of that. What else? The unsweetened iced tea. Yeah, that has been my favorite. Yes. <laughs> access to the unsweetened teas, which we just don't have in Australia, readily available. This has been awesome. All the convenience stores, massive amount of choice. And in the convenience stores, sparkling mineral water with flavors. I've had like grapefruit, lemon, so it's not sweetened, but just has the flavor in it. So that's been really nice. So there definitely has been options here, but we probably have found it a little bit challenging at times. <laughs> the highlight, I think, probably for both of us was the sukiyaki. Yeah. That was like a full experience. If you want an experienced meal, I would recommend trying sukiyaki. Yeah, for sure. And that was delicious as well. Like we'd never had any sort of wagyu beef before. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you definitely have to try that once, I think, if you're coming. So we will pop a link in the description below of um, the blog post that we've done about what we've found in Japan. There'll be lots of links and things in that blog post as well. So we really hope this helps you with planning your trip to Japan and staying low carb. We've really enjoyed visiting here. It's definitely one of our favorite places. And it's doable, guys. It's oh, definitely yeah, it's doable. It's totally doable. If you've liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.